Heretic heretic is the scientific name for something that is found right here in Lane County, okay? It's something that you guys might have seen before, and I'm going to tell you about it. It gets to be up to 300 pounds, but it only gets as big as this. Okay, this is how long it gets, up to 300 pounds. Why don't you sit down and be removed, or be removed. Come to this side. Come to this side. All right. Up to 300 pounds, only this big. What do you guys think it is? And guess is what Coretta Coretta might be? That's the scientific name. What? A type of snake that is very much turtle. Exactly right. It is the loggerhead sea turtle. This guy's quiet, you remember? It is an important and endangered species. It is found right here in Lane County. This is what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about three parts of the loggerhead sea turtle. It's early life, what it's like when it's an adult, and what it means that it's in danger. Okay, there are many important parts of this turtle's life, but the most important is its beginning when it's a baby sea turtle. So here is a picture of a baby loggerhead sea turtle. A loggerhead sea turtle is laid as an egg. Its mom is going to come on shore to the exact same beach where she was born. And she'll dig a hole and lay her eggs in it and cover them up. Then, about 60 days later, those eggs are going to hatch. And the little baby sea turtles are about two inches long at this time. They're going to climb to just under the surface of the sand and they're going to wait. Because there are many things out there that want to eat them, like raccoons, and dogs, and birds, and all kinds of things. So what they're going to do is they're going to hide just under the surface until the sun goes down and the sand gets cold enough that they know it's nighttime. And then they're going to take off for the water. So once night falls, the sand cools, they pop out that last layer of sand, and they all take off down the water, or down toward the water. Things they have to watch out for here are raccoons, crabs, birds, dogs, and other predators that are meant to eat the little baby turtles. If they make it to the water, though, they find the current, they ride it out onto the coast, and they try and make it out to deep water. If they get out to the deep water, then what they're going to do is stay out there for 7 to 12 years. So, while they're out there, they have to avoid things like sharks and fish and other predators that would like to eat them. So if they should make it past this point, then they're going to turn into a much bigger turtle. They'll have grown into an adult turtle. Now, the loggerhead is called the loggerhead because as an adult, it has a great big head that looks kind of like a big old log. It's a big head. It's got really powerful jaws for crushing prey. These turtles can eat conks or horseshoe crabs or big crabs with a huge, really hard shell. They can crunch through those. They also eat softer food like uh, jellyfish, fish, and seaweed. Now, they have pretty cool shells I'll tell you guys about. Okay, so their shells have two parts. The top is called a carapace. That's the back part of the shell. Called a carapace. Can you guys say that? Carapace? Carapace. The cool thing about a loggerhead is that a carapace is kind of shaped like a heart. The belly part of the shell is called a plastron. Can you guys say plastron? Plastron. You can see here the belly part of the shell. Okay. So as adults, they'll move closer to the shore so that they can mate and eat. These turtles live all over the world, in all the oceans of the world, except in the Arctic and the Antarctic. And males, so the boys, will never come back on land. Only the females will ever come back on land and only to mate. And where do they go to mate? Where do they go to lay their eggs? Where they exactly where they were exactly the exact same beach where they were born. Yes, in the exact same spot. So, here are problems. This leads to endangerment, okay? What problem could there be on a beach if you had to go back to the exact same beach you were born on to lay your eggs? Go. Um, 
like maybe a building or something? Exactly. That's one of the big ways that humans impact these turtles is that if someone built a building on a beach where that turtle was born, they wouldn't know where to lay their egg and they wouldn't be able to, so there'd be problems. That's just one example of how this could happen. Now, the North Pacific Ocean distinct population group is the group that is native to Lane County, okay? So these are turtles that if you ever go to the coast, out here right by us, you go to the coast, you might see these two sea turtles. In fact, the loggerhead sea turtle is the sea turtle most commonly found in the United States. So if you happen to see a sea turtle in the United States, chances are it's this kind of sea turtle. That's it, afterwards, thank you. Okay, so we have direct impacts, like when we accidentally catch one on a fishing line, or when our boat accidentally hits one, or if we bring a dog to the beach and the dog eats the baby turtle. These are ways that humans can directly impact the turtle Reba. population. Reba. But there Reba. are indirect ways too. You talked about building a building where they nest that. That's an indirect way that we can affect them. Another one is called disorientation. See what happens when a baby sea turtle is born? How it knows to get to the ocean is it goes toward the moon. Okay, so the moon just looks like a light, right? And it kind of shines down on the water. And the baby turtles go out at night and they try and get there, right? Right, they try and go toward that light. So what would happen if they got out, they popped out, they're on a beach, and they see the lights of a city and the moon? Exactly. Some of them might go toward the city. And so then what would happen is you have them going both directions, and the ones who go toward the city most likely are not going to make it to the adults because they don't get out into that deep water in the ocean where they need to eat and grow. So you guys did a great job. What we talked about were the early life, the adult life, and the endangerment of the loggerhead sea turtle. The loggerhead is a very important and endangered species from right here in Lane County. Now, does anyone remember the scientific name for the loggerhead sea turtle? It's Coretta Coretta. Everyone say Coretta Coretta. Good job, guys. Thanks for watching.